Google Workspace offers the hosted S-MIME feature for Gmail, through which the encryption of emails using the S-MIME protocol is now possible. Essentially, the S-MIME encryption is an optional layer of protection to protect sensitive information in emails. Now, very briefly, the setting out of the S-MIME encryption begins with admin or end users uploading S-MIME certificates to the Gmail servers. Now, once these certificates are uploaded, the next time an end user sends an email to the recipient, both parties will exchange public keys during this first email exchange. And subsequently from then on, all future emails will then be signed and encrypted during transport. Now, we'll dive a little bit into the actual implementation of this S-MIME encryption in, through the Google Admin Console. Now, to set up S-MIME encryption for Gmail in a particular domain or organization, the first option that needs to be enabled is the S-MIME encryption for sending and receiving emails. Now, this option can be found in the Gmail user settings, and to get there, we'll first click on Apps, following which we click on Google Workspace, and then on to Gmail. Now, once the Gmail settings page has loaded, we will click on user settings. Make sure that we are doing it on the correct organizational unit. Once that is done, we scroll all the way down and we can see right at the bottom is the setting for S-MIME. So let me expand this to view all the different options that we have. So the first option that we see is the enable S-MIME encryption for sending and receiving emails. So this is essentially what we want in this particular situation. So let's enable this. The next option is to allow users to upload their own certificates. So in Gmail, we have two options when it comes to uploading certificate. The first option is to make use of the Gmail API where administrators can do a bulk loading of certificates for all the users in the domain itself. The second option is what we see over here, which is to allow individual users to upload their own certificates through Gmail. And for this particular demo, we'll be doing just that. So let me enable that. The last option is to allow SHA-1 globally. Now, if an organization needs to use the SHA-1 algorithm or the secure hash algorithm, then enable it. But for this demo, we will not require that. So we will leave it unchecked. So once that is done, we will click on Save. And just like that, we have already updated the S-MIME settings for the domain. Now, the next step is for the user to go to Gmail and manually upload the S-MIME certificate. From the Gmail webpage, it is a fairly straightforward process of uploading the S-MIME certificate. Now, bringing my mouse cursor over to the gear icon and clicking on it, click on See All Settings, and then over to the Accounts tab. Going over to the second row, which reflects SendMail S, bring the cursor all the way to the right and click on the Edit Info link. This will open up a new window where we can configure the encryption settings for this email address. And there's a link over here that allows us to upload a personal certificate. So let's click on that. And this will open up our local file system. Now go over to where your SMAM cert is located and then select it to upload it to the servers. Input whatever password that is required. And there is all. Now the certificate is already uploaded to the server. We will just have to make sure that we select it for the S-MIME encryption. And now that it is changed, we can go and test out to see if the mails that we send from now on are all encrypted by S-MIME. If I were to send an email to my friend Ardianto, you can see that on the extreme right hand corner of the two row, there is a green padlock. And if I were to click on it and view the details, it reflects that the recipient, Ardianto, supports enhanced encryption or SMIME encryption for this case. 
And this is only possible because Argento also uploaded an SMIM certificate of its own onto the Google servers. This means that if I send an email to someone that does not have an SMIM certificate, the email will not be encrypted by SMIME. So let's try that out. Let's say now I want to send to Jonathan instead. And as you can see, the email will only be supported by the standard encryption or TLS for this case. Mm -hmm.